Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best way to play the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game on your Android devices with amazing performance. So, for today's video, I'll be using the WinLater Glipsy version. And if you are wondering, it is the WinLater 7.1.3 native Glipsy version, as WinLater 8.0 Glipsy has not been released yet. WinLater Glipsy is the best performing Windows emulator for Android. It provides you amazing FPS. And in today's video, I'll be talking about the minimum requirements as well, because in my last Dragon Dragon Ball Sparking video, a lot of you guys were asking me, can I play this game on my low-end device or mid-range Android device? So all of it will be answered in today's video. Along with that, we'll be using our PS5 controller to control the game and I have also added a save state in my Dragon Ball Sparking Zero game so we can experience the direct gameplay. But before getting started, let me quickly show you guys the settings that I'm using. Box 64 version is 0.3.1. Performance preset has been duplicated and modified, so safe flex level are set to 0. In terms of container settings, audio driver will be using Pulse Audio, DX wrapper is set to DXVK 2.3.1, not the 2.4. Afterwards, we are using the latest Turnip driver 24.3.0 revision 8. Video memory size has been set to 4GB and in terms of advanced app, X input has been enabled. That's why a PS5 controller will be working in today's video. Processor affinities have been tick marked and startup selection is aggressive. I have also created a shortcut for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero as you will be able to see. And in terms of in-game settings it is just like the container settings which i showed you guys so before we start playing our game let me just go ahead and pair my ps5 controller to my samsung galaxy tab s9 ultra which has snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor along with that 12 gb of ram so once that has been done we'll simply tap on the shortcut and our game will start loading now in terms of minimum requirements if you also want to play this game then you will need at least snapdragon 870 processor and 8 gb of ram these are the minimum requirements if you have any mid-range processor or mediatek processor Android device this game will not work now as we'll be using a save file this is going to be a completely different gameplay test than what you usually see on many YouTube channels so I'll just go ahead and press the X button and as we'll be able to see the controller is actually working and it will react to my buttons so there we go guys Dragon Ball Sparking Zero has successfully started and as you guys can probably hear the audio output is also working along with that the X input controls are pretty amazing so let me just go ahead and go to graphic settings and make sure to lower everything down. So we'll turn off VSync, anti-aliasing, set it to low and just simply turn off all the graphic settings so we get the best amount of FPS possible. Now that we have downscaled our graphics, I'll simply press the X button to save my current settings. And yeah guys, now we can start playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on our Android device with best amount of FPS possible. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let's get started. Whoa! 
So yeah guys that's going to be it for the gameplay test and as you just saw the FPS which we were getting was pretty amazing like stable 20 to 30 FPS and a very playable gameplay experience. So do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about emulating Dragon Ball Sparking Zero on Android with the help of Windows emulator for Android. So yeah thanks for